It's your boy Phil Chaff from the African Hip Hop Blog, and I'm here with K1's finest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Questa, how you doing, man? I'm the easy, king. man. I'm easy. I'm easy. How you doing, boss? I'm, I'm all good, man. That's mm. good. That was dope. How's working? You know? Yeah, we see. We've been listening to the the new tracks. They sounded pretty dope. Sounded pretty Thank dope. you, man. Appreciate it. So, what's what's the plan for the new album? Have you settled on the name yet? Um, I've settled on the name. I mean, um, I've had like two albums so far. Mm-hmm. Um, the first was called Special Request. Which was just a cool way to use Quest in, in, in the album <laughs> title, and well, it was really like what I felt people wanted to hear, you know. And then the second one was the car, and that was really when I didn't care what people wanted to hear, and I wanted mm-hmm. to bring myself out, you know. Um, and and now this that I'm working on now is the car too, where I don't care worse what people want to hear. It's it's more, it's now more what I want to say to the world, you know, instead of what what's expected of me to say. All right. It's funny you say that because, like, listening to the car, even to the to what you played for me earlier, mm. the stuff it's still very lyrical. But you've chosen beats that are, are very timely right now. Like a lot of mm. kids like these deep 808s. Mm. They like those dark synths. Yeah. That's, that's what they they're playing to. That's what they're playing in the clubs right now. I mean, I can't lie to myself and say I, I, I'm 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 not exposed to that, or that's not something I know, mm. or, or that's not something I want to put out there. Because at the end of the day. As much as an album is a personal thing, it's also a very commercial thing. It's also something you need to yeah. sell to people. We, 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 we also need to connect with the people because the music is just about the connection with the people. And yeah. if they're connecting with something, then you need to plug in your message onto whatever it is that they, they, they don't. You know what I'm saying? But keeping your own also because the message, as long as the message is yours, though, you know, as long as what you're saying is what you believe and what you'd say when you're having a conversation off the record. You know? I, I don't yeah. know. So have you, you have a release date locked in? Maybe not a date, um, um, maybe not a, a date date, but I have a month, you right. know, I'm trying to drop it in, in September, you know, um, either the beginning or um, the, the second part of September, but I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to drop it in September. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. And the first single? The first single is a joint called No Mayin. Now, No Mayin is a weird thing because it's, 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 it's like a thing that parking attendants, well, the whether legal or legal, whether hired or unhired or just free because that's what they do, you know, the people that just help you and whip yeah. and go, yo, park, park it like this, you know, some sometimes they're annoying, sometimes, you know what I mean, but um, what they represent is is, 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 is making it, is, is trying to make it for yourself, is trying to do it for yourself, you know, and that no mayini thing means anything, my brother, you know what I mean, they, so they don't come with a price tag and go, it costs this much. To, to, to park here like how the malls would but they're like yo just anything anything goes you know can a brother eat can a brother live can a brother but you know whatever the, the hell the brother wants you know can a brother get food even it doesn't have to be money so w- right now we're recording a sony studio so yeah. that's, that's where you're recording your project so are they going to be distributing it for you um yeah yeah i mean um they will we i worked with sony from the first album or the second album i mean um the car you know because yeah. Um, I was signed to a company at first when I dropped my first album and then um, the second one was, was an independent album but it was with the distribution and licensing of, through Sony. Yeah, because I remember when, when Dakar dropped, I think Dakar dropped November 2013 mm-hmm. digitally, it was on yeah. iTunes and then the CDs only came like a few months after yeah. the digital release. I mean, that was, that was, that was a plan, you know, okay. that, wasn't, that wasn't a delayed reaction from, from, from anyone. I'm, I'm, like I got partners, you know, I work with partners, I have people, um, two of them really, and then there's like a lot of other people, you know, where we, we're, we're really all trying to push the same dream of just getting out of whatever situations we find ourselves in and making that better, and, 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 and that's what that album represented more than anything, and that's why being on iTunes and, 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 and not being afraid to say that you released a song so that it gets nominated for this, that, and the third. Um, comes from you know because that's what we want to see we want to see the progress so that we, we we know that we're not lying to ourselves or we're not kidding ourselves when we do whatever it is that we do but from what you've seen in terms of let's say hip-hop what's the scene looking like in your eyes dude it's 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 it's, it's at a point where it's literally never been more up to us than it is now, you know. Um, I mean, we can always say it was up to us how we make the songs. Now it's it's literally up to us with regards to people have decided that it's it's it's, it's what they want to hear. They want this. They want more of this hip hop that, that's that's happening right now. They want the hip hop, you know. So how we treat it is is, is going to be very important and very vital to towards how long it lasts. You know what I mean? Because we might think it's forever, but it might not be, and it might be. 
You know what I mean? It might be a little stint that that might die out in a year or two. You know, people might just be saying, you know, we love hip hop now and then, you know, go back to wherever they came from with regards to what they liked or find something else that they like, you know. So I think it's it's at a stage it's at a very delicate stage right now, you know. It's 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 really more up to us than anything. How we treat it, the the, the amount of respect we give it and how hard we work for it to go further is is, is, is what's gonna determine how long it's gonna last, you know. Yeah. As a lyrical rapper, um, how much harder is it, do you, do you think, for you to get that recognition and acclaim from the masses who might not understand those mm. those those punchlines you're dropping? I mean, I won't say it's hard, but there's there's. I think I've been blessed to find sort of to 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 have always had like mid ground to things like this because I never leave that at home. You know, the fact that I want to be. I want to be on the song and I want to rap the best that I can, you know, mm -hmm. that never stays at home. It always comes, no matter what the song's about, no matter what the beat is, no matter what the people think they want or think they don't want, you know, and, and I, I always bring that on the table. And I think I've been blessed to have a way of doing that without being too much of the other thing or too little of what's needed. You know what I mean? Uh, so um, I think it's, it's 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 harder to sell lyrics than it is to sell a good beat and a good chorus. I mean, that's definitely goes without a doubt. But um, if 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 you watch my shows and you go, you come and I perform, I literally, of course, the choruses, yes, of course, the beats, yes, of course, those things are there. But I literally sell lyrics, you know, on that platform. So I think what I needed to do was to find the balance between the two because there's. People are new to this, to the idea of avidly listening to rap music. You know what I'm saying? They they can like it from afar and go, oh yeah, I like that. So, but now they actually listening to it. They 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 bumping it in their own space. So they're new to all that, and 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 that's why I think it's important to have shows that also sell the lyrics. Um, just being the lyrical content, just what is it that you're saying and why are you saying it and how are you saying it? The creativity of it all, you know. So it, it's it, it's been a little difficult. A little harder because you're selling lyrics and you're not selling um, who you are or what position you're in. Um, but I mean, it, it's working out, you know. Um, it's it's it's. I'm finding the sound. I'm, I'm I'm tightening up the sound every damn day I'm in here. All right. Yeah. So on that subject, um, that the situation five FM. Mm. What inspired that letter? Um, the most mostly. I mean, the word I like to use for that is. Representation, you know. Um, I wanted. I think we all did. I think every artist wants to be represented by by the forces that are there to represent you, you know. And 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 not and not be in a situation where you feel you should be represented by these people, but they choose to represent something else, you know. Because five is not a white station. It shouldn't be. If we think it is, then that's where we went wrong. From the beginning you know it's it's a, it's a national youth station you know what i mean so which means it should play rock it should play um house it should play hip-hop it should play everybody you know everybody must be represented the same and and that was literally the fight but it was for hip-hop because that's all i know you know i could afford for rock baby but I, maybe they play enough of that i could play afford for house maybe they play i don't know but what i know is that um i didn't feel like we as south african black even south african black um hip-hop artists were being represented properly and in, in, in that sort of thing you know or honestly or like uh, without favor you know um and 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 yeah that's 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 really what inspired that because um there's a whole lot of conversations about rapping in vernacular languages and rapping in english and why this won't fit that but i mean Afrikaans is a vernacular language also to certain people and so is Zulu to me and this is Sutu to the other guy and you know these things like and all those things should be looked at on should be put on, on the same scale. It shouldn't be because a lot of who a lot of the people who listen to us might understand Afrikaans more, you automatically win. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna get automatic well automatic airplay airplay and because maybe we don't have a lot of Zulu speaking people um, on our listenership, uh, then maybe you will get played a lot less. I, I find that very unfair because this is, it shouldn't be a language-based station. I mean, there's mandates that are out there for for for, for results that that must cater for everyone, and, and, 
literally that's 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 all that was man it was for representation not to, i wanted to be represented by the station that claims it does all right, all right, all right. um so back to this project um what are your goals what, what are you hoping to achieve Dude, I've, op- I've, I've opened up this project so much because um, like there's this cover art thing we're doing, well, fan art that the fans are doing, actually, um, by themselves, and they just taking pictures, whatever pictures they might have of me, and they, they, they're literally creating the album cover, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's a movement on its own that's happening. That's me including the people because I feel the position I'm in right now, I cannot say... I'm here because of all that I've done. I mean, I'm here because of all that they've accepted that I do. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and it's only right that 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 I give them, I give them sort of, you no, know, I, I I involve them in the project. You know, and by them I mean the people that that are always listening, that are always looking out for something. You know what I mean? The fans, basically, that that love what, what I do. You know. And, and, and that's one way of including them. And also with this Noma Ini thing that I'm speaking about, I mean, we're going out there, we're going to, I'm literally playing a car guard, you know, I'd literally take a reflector, put it on and help people park and things like that and take that money and give it to the gents that, will, that are, well, because you can't just walk in there. There's a guy that's working there and you're like, yo, let me just, you know, just chill out for a bit. I'll, I'll, I got it from here and then. You know, whatever I make, I'll give back to you. Know, and that's me involving people. So I've opened it up in that sense, and and that's the entire goal. You know, to 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 have people feel like they're involved in 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 in, in generally questers in the evolution of Questa generally, the growth and everything. You know, I want everybody to say I had a, I, had, I had something to do with that. I had something to do with that instead of me just now going all over the place and saying, yeah, this is how we did it ourselves, you know, which is the truth. This is this is how we did it ourselves, but we did it ourselves by ourselves. I mean, it's me and my people, you know, and by my people, I mean the people that have always been on, 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 on my corner, you know, in my corner for, for, for whatever battle I might be fighting. And, and I'm trying to include them a whole lot in this album, but the whole point, bottom line, I'm trying to make the best album ever made. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I feel like everybody should be trying to make the best album ever made because, well, then why do it? You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm challenging myself a whole lot more on this one. I'm I'm gonna show a whole lot. I'm I'm gonna be vulnerable, you know, and then I'm gonna be extra confident, and then I'm gonna be not sure, and you know, I'm. But I'll I'll bring it all out there, you know, for people. That's 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 the whole point of this. But it it is also to be a great, great body of work. It's supposed to be, I want it to be, and it will be the greatest body of work that they've heard, at least from me, maybe from anyone else also. It's a bold claim right there, bro, it's a bold claim. Dude, I'm, that's the, otherwise, why are we here? We're in studio, I'm, I'm not here to say, I'm trying to make the second best album or the third best <laughs> album or the fifth best album, you yeah. know what I mean? I'm trying to make the best thing I've ever done. I'm trying to make the best thing that anyone's ever done. And, and, and I can't half step in saying that, you know? All right, all yeah. right. Well, from what I heard, it sounds very promising, man. And you've been on a dope project. You dropped some dope verses. That Amanto Bazani verse still, still blows me. Yeah. Away. That, that, that no, was, no, thanks, man. That was sick. Even the Suka item, that was, that was a dope verse, man. Thank so, you. Man. Yeah, yeah, especially what you played, that fire joint. Oh, oh the fire joint. Whatever, yeah. whatever you guys finally decide to name it. But yeah. that, that doesn't mean that, that, that that's, that's going to be something special. It's gonna be no, something no, special. Key, man. I mean, with that joint, I really wanted to address a whole lot of things I felt about the rap game and, and really also showcase. I mean, um, I mean, he's always been a guy that's been available for me. You know, he's always been a guy that's, that's always wanted to work and, and do things. And and he's a great producer and he's mm-hmm. a great singer and he's a like you know everything he did there. I just you know I just literally came in and rapped. You know, and and, and, and yeah, that song should be something. But there'll be a whole lot of others also. I right, man, yeah. I appreciate the time. No problem. Good luck of it. We look out for the car too. Yep, coming very soon. Coming in September. I right. will be waiting. Everyone should have it. <laughs> Thanks, First man. single on my. Nice. Right. Get that Dope. show, man. Nice one.